Howdy folks, I want to apologize in advance for the wind, but it is September in North Dakota, so it's inherently going to be windy. But anyway, a uh, video I want to do for a little while now. It's a 65 Ford F-250, factory four-wheel drive. 352 V8. And I picked this up last July, right before I deployed. Got this out of Montana. Haven't done a whole lot to it, put a new fuel pump on it. I got back with deployment, had to go through the carburetor. It had already had this new front dry shaft on it when I got it. Had to uh, tighten up the transfer case, and I actually have to do that again. My transfer case is loose. You let the clutch out, you can hear it rocking underneath, so I need to do that. Since I've had it, I've also went through and redid all the brakes and bearings, seals on the back end. parking brake cables all that good stuff it was originally that white tan color at one time it wasn't orange is repainted I don't know when I can't say it does have one crack in the windshield right there but it doesn't bother me any none of the clearance lights work I haven't gotten that far yet it's minor detail to me right now this light does work, it just has a bad ground, which seemed to be a theme with this truck with ground. I got a new 14 foot Oliver disc I just brought home Tuesday, so about five days ago I brought it home. Not with this, but used it to move it around. Bumpers bent up a little bit, but can't complain, it's a farm truck. Whoever had it put this nice beefy hitch on there for towing implements or whatever they had it hooked to. I had the tailgate, just the, uh, the chains and things to hold it on, and the brackets, the one bracket on this side is busted. So I got a little bit of work to get the tailgate back on it. And then they had cut this out, so I have to weld a piece or put another board in there to give something to tailgate to attach to on this side. The bed has a little bit of rust at the front there, and right there, actually above the drive shaft. But that's also where the muffler is, so I don't know if that has something to do with it from water sitting there and the muffler being underneath it, the heat making it rust a little faster. The rear here, I put new lenses in it, I rewired the tail lights, turn signals, all that other stuff because it was actually cut right behind the cab. So I had to rerun everything from scratch to the back here, which it was a little painful finding the wiring diagram and then getting everything to work right. But they work now. I have working uh, both stop lamps and my turn signals work. So happy about that. One thing I will point out, somebody had told me that this is the wrong bed for this truck. And if you know anything about mid-60s Fords, most people would probably say, yes, this is the wrong bed for this truck. Which, in a way, they're right, because this isn't the right bed for the truck in a way but because it's four-wheel drive it is from a little bit of re internet research that I've done I guess these four-wheel drives are a little bit different in the wheelbase just a couple inches off from the two-wheel drive models so they use beds from the late 50s and early 60s Fords on these trucks instead of the style side like they had with this curve that would go back the side with kind of that swept fender well look like you would have on a two-wheel drive model so this isn't a typical bed for this year, but because it's four-wheel drive, it makes it unique. It's got three different types of tires on it, this one being the best one. It's a Cooper. It actually has some tread on it, even though it's a retread. But hey, it still gets me down the road. This one is a co-op Country Squire. Not a whole lot of life left in it. But again, it rolls and gets me on down the road. Both the custom cab emblems are on there, but I am missing the, I actually have it, the metal emblem here. I just need the F2, the red F250 to go inside there. And eventually I'll get the radio working in it again. Had to replace the windshield wipers. This one didn't have a wiper on it at all. And it had been ran that way for a little while. So I got some scratches. 
in the windshield. Gives it character. Kind of cheated here a little bit. I already got the uh, first latch on the hood undone. Make my job a little easier. Front turn signals didn't work either. That was just a ground issue. So I re-ran ground wires, put new light bulbs in it, and I have working turn signals now. Again, 352 V8. Vacuum boost, which the vacuum's not hooked up, so you have to take up a little bit of slack out of the brake pedal before it starts to kick in, but brakes work fine otherwise. I do need to go through and put new plugs and wires on it though, just a general electrical tune up on it. I have not done that yet. It's got a miss, I think it's electrical. I haven't really dug into it a whole lot as of yet to figure out exactly what's wrong with it. But I do know it's got a miss. I haven't got the horn yet working either. Uh, when I got it, the relay was unhooked. When I got it, the charge, yeah, it didn't charge either. First try an alternator, that didn't work, and then it just replacing the voltage regulator, and now it charges. The idiot light in the dash works. Somebody must have had some trouble with it sealing, because it's got <laughs> two exhaust manifold gaskets on there, which actually I gotta replace. There's a, a leak on the driver's side there I need to address. But there's the original color color and I painted it orange. This is also a radiator out of a 67 Ford. Tried to, it had a, one of the circulating pump tank heaters on it and it was hooked to the pet cock at the bottom of the radiator and I tried to turn the pet cock and the, the copper was so thin and the bottom of the radiator actually just busted the whole thing out. It wouldn't solder up as too thin or braze up. I mean it was just too thin to braze. So I pulled this radiator out and Stuck her in here, had to do a little bit of adaptation because this size of the radiator neck was different than the thermostat housing. So this is a hose off of a 392 International and I believe it's on this end, yes, on this end. Has another piece of radiator hose cut underneath it to go because this one's smaller than that thermostat housing. So I had to adapt a little bit and just put another piece of hose underneath it and clamp it down. But turns out International radiator hose works just perfect. I guess we'll go ahead and take a gander at the inside here. Somebody liked their speakers, they put the speakers in the door and then also in the headliner they put some speakers in there too. Got the gun rack, which I got hanging my rope right now. It's got a brown vinyl seat underneath it. It's in pretty good shape but because of the sun and everything out here actually got this seat cover on sale at Napa for 10 bucks so it keeps the sun off the vinyl hopefully keep it alive a little longer I like this dash one of the reasons why I got the truck has got the round gauges on the dash I need the boots for uh, my transfer case and my shifter there it's a big opening around my transfer case shifter that's why I got that shirt shoved in there Keeps the draft out in the winter time. Must have been used as a spray rig at one point in time because you got your mix in there. Now the gentleman I purchased it off of said it was the fire truck around the ranch. Had a water tank in the back. Uh, they used it and just kept it full of water. Uh, kind of just their fire truck. Original AM radio. I found an outfit that will take this radio, rebuild it, and make it an AM FM. So I'm eventually going to take this out, get it rebuilt, just to keep the original radio. Glove box. Heater motor works. Doesn't put out a whole lot of heat, which is rather disappointing in the winter time up here. Horn button. Four-speed manual. Synchronizers are out of second gear, so both first and second gear are unsynchronized. But you start out in first or second gear anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Like the creative fuzzy visors, but gives it an added touch, I suppose. Well, I guess we'll see how she runs here. I had it running the other night uh, when I pulled the disc around. Let's 
been a good runner for me. I don't my turn winker. Yeah, I didn't like I said I didn't have turn signals. I went through and fixed it all up. So I got turn signals and then the high beam indicator works as well. Just like that. Also, since I've had it, I've went through, changed out all the fluids, uh, the axles, transfer case, transmission. Transmission was low on oil, but thankfully, changed it out, refilled it, with, put some good gear oil in there. Transmission was a little quieter now, at least. I'm not exactly sure what this switch is for, though. It says blink marker lights. Not sure, never heard of that sort of switch. I'm not sure if it's factory or not, but a lot of the trucks I've seen have a little dimple there in the corner, and that uh, actually somebody put or came from the factory with a cigarette lighter there in the passenger side. Got the battery in the passenger floor there. Let's see if she's warm enough to idle yet. Yep. You can hear my exhaust leak. Otherwise, it's a pretty quiet running truck. It definitely will get up and go though. Uh, you lean into it, you can go second, third, fourth pretty quick. And with any luck here, within about a week or so, I will be home back in Pennsylvania. I'll do a video of my 69. Just first old truck that I've had. Kind of how I got started in these old things. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully, like I said, within about a week or so, I'll be home. Fuel gauge works, temperature gauge works as well. Alternator light, or the alternator gauge does not work. That's the only thing that doesn't work. Oil pressure. Alrighty, well, there's my old pickup, a 65. Oh, that's the one thing I forgot about too. The uh, aluminum door plate here, the striker plate, was busted on both sides. So you had to really slam the door, and then the doors would randomly come open. So I got these on there and replaced them. So the doors close nice and tight now. You don't have to slam them. Works real nice. There she be, 65 Ford F-250 4x4.